Welcome back to Energy and Cleaning and Life Hacks. Today I'm going to show you what happens when you open your washing machine drawer. You can already see right now and I'm going to show you how to clean this. It is so easy. You want to make sure that you're cleaning this often because a lot of bacteria and stank gets housed in here. It's dark. There's moisture. Yes, and around in here as well. All right, depending upon the model that you have, this is a Maytag. This is pretty easy to remove. Some you can just jimmy out. Most have a little lever right here so that you can push down. My friend, it's been a while since I've cleaned mine. And when I pulled mine out, I thought to myself, what is all that gelatin back in there supposedly cleaning my clothes? That's nasty. And up in here, it's not half bad. Pretty close. Ooh, it's picking up here on the left hand side. I got an easy solution for you to make this lickety split. First thing, just rinse this out with some warm, warm or hot, hot water. Okay, now this is really disgusting. I was just rinsing this out on the other side of here. There's like gelatin, like slimy gelatin. Like what the heck is that? It looks like mayonnaise. Also, these little doodabby things here, the technical term, pop off. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you pop those off, rinse them off. Oh, I gotta show you this. Look at the underside of this one right here look at that that oh nasty nasty let's get in there what like what is that oh now there are a couple ways that you can clean this you could get yourself some vinegar and warm water you could get yourself some dawn dish soap heck you could even get some shaving cream to clean this out here's my favorite way some lysol spray yes i want to kill all the germs up in here spray everything down and i'm gonna let this sit for one to two minutes just make sure things make sure make sure everything uh is disinfected here. Once that has been sitting for about a minute or two minutes, I'm just gonna take a cleaning toothbrush and then go in and around here, rinse it off, and then I'll show you the next step. By the way, if your toothbrush can't get into some of these hard to reach spots, like in here, cotton swab, Q-tip will do wonders. In fact, I have an entire playlist dedicated to cotton swab cleaning hacks. I can link for you in the description box below. Now that it's looking like brand new, we gotta get the inside right here. And I think the easiest way to do that, again, is just to spray a little Lysol in there. Again, you can put some vinegar and a spray bottle, whatever you want to do. I just like the smell of this and I know it's doing what it needs to do. And you're going to let that sit for about one to two minutes and you're going to go ahead in with your toothbrush. While you are sitting and waiting, there sure is a lot to be cleaned with this simple toothbrush right here on your washing machine. Down in here, yes, we could just go to town with this all day long. Once that is all done, you're gonna take your tray and slide it back in place. Couple tips here, leave this open after every wash so that the water is not sitting in there and accumulating more bacteria and smells. Also, if you're wondering what happens when you put shaving cream in your washing machine, click the video on screen now, give the video a thumbs up, sign up for the weekly newsletter in the description box, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.